She was in a ski accident that left her as a quadriplegic. Well, now, after months of rehabilitation living in Glen Cove, 21 year old college senior Rebecca Colton moved into an assisted living facility with her parents today. News 12 Long Island's Karen Pinto explains how the family stays strong as they begin the next chapter of their lifelong journey. I'm excited to be not in a hospital where I can hang out with my friends and get in my van and go out and explore the world. After months of living in a hospital, Rebecca Colton got a warm welcome as she arrived at Brandywine Senior Living. For now, she'll be living here with her parents. After nine months, after nine months of being in a hospital. I'm excited to like wake up with them in the morning and like be there, they'll be there when I go to sleep. And that, that'll just be really nice to have them nearby. The 21-year-old senior at Binghamton was applying to medical school when she had a ski accident last March. She suffered a spinal cord injury that has left her paralyzed from the neck down. I've definitely felt the love and support from the community. and I'm really excited to be able to thank them in person and have them have people come visit me. Her parents, Audrey and Scott Colton, have been taking this emotional journey day by day always remaining positive. Rebecca wants to be productive, for sure, but we also want her to have fun. We want her to have, she's a fun person, loves to come and go and do, so we're gonna, you know, make that happen. She's got a tremendous amount of perseverance, and, and it's gonna take her a long way in this world. Rebecca stays resilient, motivated, and inspired. I guess I think about all the other t people that are in my type of situation with spinal cord injury and see seeing all the lives they've created for themselves. Rebecca's parents are renovating their home to make it more accessible for their daughter. They'll move back to Plainview when it's ready. In Melville, Karen Pinto, News 12 Long Island. And the Coltons are still looking for nurses. They're also raising money for their daughter's 24-hour care. For more information on how you can help, help head to our website, news12.com.